Good morning, everybody. I am live today. I'm using a new platform called Be Live TV, and I am doing it from my desktop, which is what I wanted to do. I was going to um, download OBS because I wanted to do some screen sharing, and it was just far too technical. So I have gone with this, and I'm going to be also doing um, some interviews um, in the next week or two. So um, this is a new platform, and I'm just sitting in my living room, and I'm giving it a go, and I really like it because, A, it's from my desktop, and also I can – I've got, like, an agenda here. So I can put my agenda on the screen and hopefully, can you see that? I'm not sure. Let me see. Oh, I wanted to put that. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but I'm talking today about Himalayan salt lamps. As you can see, I've got one in the background, and I've always wanted one. I actually bought two, and I've always wanted them, um, A, because I think they look really nice, but they do actually have a lot of other benefits as well. So um, if, you can, if, if you're coming on, could you just let me know that you can actually hear me? okay because I usually wear a microphone and I'd rather not be able to have to do that so if you can hear me if you could just let me know that would be great and um, and I'll carry on so I'll carry on anyway and um, anyway so Himalayan salt lamps so I've got one in my lounge room here and I've also got one in my bedroom and I'll probably put one in my office as well once I get that set up. So um, they are, you may know them and if, if you've got one or you or you want one then you know just let me know. Um, I'd love to know if you've got them in your house as well. And what they do is most people realize is that they actually cleanse and deodorize the air. And so there's all these like positive ions that are floating around in the atmosphere. And what the salt lamp does is it absorbs all the moisture and all of the positive ions and the dust particles and things like that into the salt lamp. And then what it does is the heat from the salt lamp absorbs all of that and it gives out the negative ions, which is what you want. So I'm talking about dust, um, you know, uh, things from your pets, um, smoke, that sort of a thing. So they're really helpful for that um, and cleansing the air. So oh, I should be showing up on my screen. I'm not sure why that's happening. Anyway, just bear with me. So. One thing I like about this is that I can stay on track. I've got these, you've got like an agenda that you can write down. So the other thing that um, that is really good for is your lungs because positive ions actually have an effect on your lungs when you're breathing them in. And and so the salt lamp is really good for that as well and, and um, helping you breathe better in your airways, which is quite important to me. Oh, there we go. There we go. One's come up. Excellent. <laughs> so I've just talked about that. So I shall then go on to the next one. And the other, um, another great thing about the salt lamps is energy levels. Now, I don't know about you, but um, I need all the help I can get in terms of energy. And uh, the energy levels... Um, it really helps with that. And one thing I've noticed, and I just wanted to say this, is that um, the colour of the Himalayan lamp 
also makes a difference. And so uh, a, a healer told me that the paler the, the salt lamp, um, you want to put a, a really pale coloured salt lamp in the area where you want more energy. So for instance, if you've got one in your office or in your lounge room, like anywhere where you are during the majority of the day, have a really pale salt lamp the colour of it and if you want one in your bedroom, I've got one in my bedroom as well and it's a really dark one. The darker the salt lamp, the more calming um, and the more soothing the energy that comes out of it. So what I've noticed since I've had one in the bedroom um, is that I don't, I tend to wake up sometimes in the night and that seems to be when my brain just starts going for it. So um, what I've noticed is that that's just not happening. My brain is really calm and if I wake up in the night, I go back to sleep again. So that I've actually noticed that's made quite a big difference. And so if that's you and you're having trouble sleeping, then you might want to think about a salt lamp next to your bed and just make sure it's a really dark colored one. And if you find the light is too much, like there's too much light through the night, if you need like a lot of darkness, you can actually um, just have it on throughout the whole day and the whole evening. And then when you go to bed, just switch it off if you need it, um, you know, darker um, for when you're sleeping. But I've actually noticed um, quite a difference um, in terms of, um, you know, my mind, my mind just chattering when I wake up at three or four in the, in the morning. So that's been a big help for me. Uh, the other thing that a salt lamp is very good for is for the electromagnetic radiation in your house. Now I'm talking about TVs, computers, cell phones, laptops, all that type of thing. These are all positive ions which affect you and can actually affect your immune system um, as well. And your moods. So they're just, it's just, apart from having a beautiful ambient atmosphere, they're just, uh, there's just so many benefits. If you, if you Google Himalayan salt lamps, you'll just see so many benefits. And I just find just by having them around, you know, you can have a, a, an improved, um, you know, sense of well-being and it's, it's passive. It's not like you're actually even having to do anything. The salt lamp is doing it all for you. And it's a, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful light as well and very environmentally, um, friendly. So you will have a better sleep if you have, um, you know, these types of, um, positive ions being absorbed by the lamp. And then, and the negative ions coming out. I mean, there's a whole scientific philosophy behind it. I'm not going to go into it, but that's just one thing that I've noticed has made a difference in the household. It's very cleansing. It's great for your mood, your sleep, everything else. So um, you, you might want to think about maybe getting one. And the other thing that I wanted to tell you about was a meditation that I've started doing by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Now I know he has um, an affiliate program as well. Um, I'm not a part of that, but what I've what I've started doing is a morning meditation and an evening meditation. And um, and it's very important to work on yourself and work on your mindset. If you're not doing that, then you really are just repeating past patterns and past beliefs of you know things that you've learned or experienced in the past and by changing your mindset and working on your personal development um, you know different you can attract different things into your life and so And so what he goes on to talk about is the fact that with your brain, your brain is a record of all your learned and um, experiences that you've had in the past. And so, um, you know, when you're waking up in the morning, often we're waking up and we're like, 
oh, I've got to do this for the day and I'm worrying about this and I'm anxious about that. And, and sometimes that is just how we wake up. And, and so what's happening is, is that we're, we're anchoring ourselves to certain feelings and thoughts that we've, we've always had. And so that then sets the tone for the day. And sometimes we walk around, um, you know, and we're not conscious of the fact that we are actually repeating these patterns to ourselves. And so this meditation, um, it's actually called, um, you just go, if you just Google Dr. Joe Dispenza, D-I-S-P-E-N-Z-A, um, you'll come to his website and there's only one uh, morning and evening meditation there and it's called being defined by a vision of the future instead of a memory of the past and so what it does is in the morning you you simply listen to that it's like a, a 25 minute meditation and you sit there and what it does is it it helps you program your brain into thinking about what you want, what your vision is for the future and puts you into the future rather than worry and anxiety about things that might be happening, you know, in the past or in the present. So it's about focusing ahead and, and, and focusing on the things that you want rather than the things that you don't want. Um, because, yeah, because thinking the same thoughts and the same feelings demonstrate the same behaviours and therefore you have the same experiences. So if you want different experiences, then you really do have to start with the thought process and, um, you know, defining yourself as a vision of the future rather than, than what's happened to you in your past. And this has been a huge thing for me. You know, my, I had a traumatic experience 10 years ago and, and um, lost my way, basically. And I'm just now coming back into this and realizing the importance of it. Um, I had a, a, a sale come through where I made like a $3,000 commission in one go. And there's just no way a year ago I would have been able to even have that in my life because of limiting money blocks and limiting beliefs and things like that. So it's very important to work on on, on your vision of the future and and really just train your brain and and, and make sure that as you're walking through your day, you become very conscious of the unconscious thoughts that you're having. And at that time that you're having them, then you know, just be very aware and switch it around. And, and by doing this morning meditation, and it was only like, I think it was about 11 or $12, and I just downloaded it and put it onto my iTunes. And so, you know, you can just sit there with your phone in the morning and at night and listen to this meditation. And, and uh, I really find that it really helps set the tone for the day. Like if you wake up feeling, you know, a little bit of anxiety or you're worried about money and all this sort of thing, there's just really no point to it. You've really got to, you've really got to focus on the right things. And also, like if you if you've got children, then obviously you need to get up just that half an hour earlier than what they do, and then you'll be in such a beautiful, calm state. You'll be much more in alignment. You'll feel much better about approaching your day because you're focusing on, on what you want, not the things that you're worried about and the things that you don't want. And as you start to do this, your vibe starts to come up. You become more in alignment and in flow with what you want and how you want things to be. And, and therefore, you, you attract that type of person and those types of experiences and opportunities to you. Like I said, like if I'd have made that commission, you know, a year ago, I would have been totally freaked out. I wouldn't actually have probably felt like I deserved it or, um, you know, felt that I had the knowledge or the inspiration to be able to help this person, you know, and it's, it's come from a lot of work. I mean, I grew up... <laughs> I grew up with parents like I love my mum and dad, but it was, you know, even to this day, money doesn't grow on trees. 
um, short hands, long pockets, you know, all those types of limiting beliefs about I had just big money blocks. I didn't make money for a long time. And until you get your mindset right, you know, you you really you really can't break through that. So, you know, I just encourage you to try meditation. Um, this one I think is a great one because I've tried just, you know, focusing on nothing and just focusing on your breath. And uh, I find I take a couple of breaths and then my brain's going a million miles an hour again. So this way, I love the fact that it's an audio. You know, I've got something to focus on um, in the breathing and so forth. And, and I just find it, it's been really helpful. And, and so these, just to, I just wanted to come on and test out this new platform. And, and um, you know, I hope it can help you guys in some way and if you're looking to you know change your life then then getting into more alignment of yourself and and really just coming from the heart and 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 focusing on what is possible and what you can achieve rather than what's not going right and 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 all your worries and your anxiety and it does take practice and so this morning and evening meditation you know the they're at the right time. So in the morning, you know, your your brain is changing from sleep mode into wake up mode, and that's the perfect time to hit it with, you know, a new thought process. And the same for when you go to bed at night, you know, just as you're about to go to sleep, your brain is switching again to go into a different mode to go to sleep for the night. So um, I just want to encourage you to just, you know, start to do some meditation and start to to you know work on the future and the vision for the future and um and um yeah and and you will start manifesting you know things you just you it's a it's totally a mindset game and and it's something that i'm absolutely fascinated with and and um and i like to you know connect with people who are actually the same the same as me and, and coming from a place, you know, where where they're breaking through something or old habits and trauma or disabilities or mental, you know, um, problems that, you know, just abuse lots, you know, there's lots of women out there that are that are struggling, you know, with their own uh, feelings about themselves and um, fears and doubts and this can all be changed. So um I hope this helps. Uh, the Himalayan salt lamp and the meditation are just two small things that you can do for yourself. Um, well, the Himalayan salt thing is, is kind of a small thing, but the meditation side of it is is much much bigger. And it's and, and I want to just encourage you to to, to train your brain and um, and start focusing on you know what how wonderful you are and what you've got to offer everybody in the world and um, and just go out there and, and, and get it and make it happen and don't stop until you do, you know, keep learning and keep growing. So um, I hope this helps. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm not even sure if anybody's watching or um, got anything out of it. Um, I don't even know if I did this right. So <laughs> um, live and learn and every day I learn something new. And today I have learned how to use this platform, but I'm not even sure if anybody's watching it. So if you've watched it and you enjoyed it or you can even hear me, I don't even know. So just um, please leave me a comment and a couple of likes that would be great and also if you enjoyed the content for today you know it's something i'm really passionate about and um i'm really diving deeper into it and so you know if you want to hear more you know i'm more than happy to share it so thanks a lot guys take care